Okay. Hello and welcome to Channel Sport on Sunday. I'm Ken Ochenago. Yeah, uh, you've just seen that uh, we're in Lagos, but probably we should be in Cote d'Ivoire. <laughs> trying to get things done, trying to get, bringing it home, doing it again. That is the slogan. That is the, that is the battle cry, you know. Do it again and again and again. We've done it three times. One, two, three. The fourth one. And well, okay, get to seven is still fresh. At least let's see if we can get it. Uh, it is happening over there. Uh, the, the boys came up. They are there. They are it. Mm. You know, we told you we, we, we played three guineas, so <laughs> we lost to the first guinea, but that wasn't friendly. And then our opening game was against another one, Equatorial Guinea. Um, then the host team, the team, the team, the team, the team we we'll talk, we we'll talk about it, but the team with. Meeting Cote d'Ivoire, you know, there is always a pattern in the meeting when we, we meet them right there at the AFCON, I mean, starting from 1980, where we hosted and now that they are hosting, you know, we didn't meet in 1984 when they hosted, you know, and did not win. <laughs> we, but we got to the finals. So, so they are hosting again and we are there this time. I think we should move one step further than we were at that time we lost to our perennial uh, 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 I, had, I don't know. I don't know the word to use about them because we met them three times in the finals and three times they triumphed, even when it, even at home here. But we, the Cameroonians we saw before, we see them no more. <laughs> so basically, before we get to the final, they won't be there. I'm already thinking about the finals, so we'll do that. We we'll look at we we'll look at Afcon. You know what is really happening there in in Cote d'Ivoire? Goals. It's been raining goals, goals, goals. You can say that for this Afcon. It's been raining goals. You know and. And the, the, the so-called minors are the ones that are still that are taking the fight on there. So look, we are at equal par. And, you know, be, between the you know the top teams and the lower teams, there is no, not much difference. They, the gap has been bridged, and then even the the, 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 low, the so-called minors are the ones that are actually churning out you know the results right there. Uh, the Tunisians that I used to see, the Egyptians that I used to see, you know, the, the, those those names that when you call them, you're afraid. <laughs> now, now Guinea, you could try Guinea can take on Nigeria, and then they say, look, guys, how do you get it there? You know, so we look at what's happening in Afcon. It is Af yeah, the African World Cup, and then there's another big one happening. But then it's right happening at right, you know, the, the end of the world. You know, that has to be, uh, you know, Aust the Australian Open, the first big tennis tournament of the year, always every year. You know, so so you <laughs> get that. And then one man is one. There is only one man in the history of tennis that had played a hundred games in each of the majors. 100 games in Australian Open, 100 games in French Open, 100 games at Wimbledon, 100 games right there at the US Open. Yes, the creamy one is there. I said, no, no, it doesn't have to be him always. But I know that if that's to be LeBron James, she will be saying, who, who, who? <laughs> so the man is still marching on. And I tell you, he has, he won the win on my level. The other day, I, the other day I, nobody, 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 I think they have, I, I will check that. I think them. The next person has to be winning the Australian Open about five or six. You know, I think that is. But he has won it ten times. I go for number eleven. We we'll look at we we'll, we'll look at that. But then the South African did it yesterday. You know, the man he beat the man that beat our own man. You know, Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland did you know a uh, uh, beat the last time vendor at this year. But the UFC two nine seven years. This morning, this morning I was screaming. I was happy. I was jumping. I tell you because I, of course. Um, and it was going to be close. Do I did predict that uh, 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 that he, he was giving it to uh, uh, you know Draco's du, 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 du Plessis, but then it didn't. You know, I to me, I was just there, and she was the first round. It all went straight to uh, 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 to, to Strickland, and we thought I thought what he did to Adesanya, he was going to do the Plessis, but that was not it. But see, the creamiest one is in the house. Sissy, how are you? Great to be with you. Yeah, <laughs> just you and I. Here. Just you and I. Just you and I. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe uh, Jimmy will stroll in. Yeah, we yeah. we 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 still expect <laughs> some of them to come in. Yeah. Uh, but that's how we start the show, of course. That's that is how so we, we start. We are beginning. Is Africa Cup of Nations right? And that's what everyone is talking about. And the fact that Nigeria already got a win in the bag. Yeah, we need to cheer up and celebrate a little bit of that. So we start off with that. We start off with Afcon C C C, and that is that is where we should start off the show. And she says, "Look, you must follow this according to how I prepared it, and I have no option to follow it." I'm going to have a great show today, myself, C C, and you guys. Where we where we, where we where we do open the lines, and you guys join us. So, uh, uh, you said the, the Super Eagles. I mean, they got they got that win mm -hmm. over Cote d'Ivoire. It was crucial. It was important. 
and after after that then you can now dream and believe because after the, when they started the first game it was a draw we complained about how they play the fact that the, the passes were very passive the fact that there was no hunger when they lose the ball most of them don't even track back you lose the ball you don't do a follow-up to get the balls back and that all happened in the first game but it's like the Supergirls are growing into the game as the tournament is progressing and for them to be able to beat the host nation in front of that thousands of crowd you know at, at that stadium shows that yes these players understand what's at stake i mean we can't be back home here shouting let's do it again and the players on the field of play are not they don't even have the body language is saying we can't do this but i mean with what we saw against cut the voice shows that yes the body language is coming back yes we can now believe in them that yes it's something they can really do that's if they're ready to play because i was listening to true second we listened to him much later on the program he was talking about that the crop of players he's playing with is the best he's played with so far now, if you have the best you're playing with so far since you joined the national team, so it simply means with the crop of players you're playing as the vice captain, you can actually ensure that these players can be at their best and go ahead to win the Nations Cup. Not just beating uh, Guinea-Bissau on Monday. I mean, that's far from it. That's just to conclude the group stage. You still have the quarterfinals. You still, you, you still have the semifinals. Of course, the round of 16 first, quarterfinals, the semifinals, of course, the finals. So they have four more, you know. To we'll, go after against Guinea Bissau. Sisi, Sisi, we'll be here following them yeah. step by step. Yeah. But as like Sisi just said, you know, um, the players are preparing for tomorrow, 6 yeah. p.m. tomorrow, the crucial mm -hmm. game when they, they, we'll be playing uh, uh, Bissau yeah. while the Avodas will be playing, you know, uh, Equatorial Guinea. Okay. Uh, 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 I think uh, if you, you they, like, let's just see. Um, what what kind of a game plan? Uh, because the, we, we, we see the we, we see the manager up, change yeah. to a back three. Mm -hmm. You understand probably, and then fortify the midfield, midfield against yeah. the Ivorians yeah. because they were you know look the important that led them we, we got that goal as okay fine there is no way they are going to come in. But then playing against Guinea Bissau, we I mean we, we need we need at least a minimum of a draw. Should mm -hmm. we be going for a draw? or Should we go for the kill? Go for the kill because you wouldn't want to drop the temple. You've already started. I mean the first was. I mean, that was in the game. But the second, you started on the run. So you don't want to drop the, t drop the temple. But I think if the formation he used against the Cote if that's what it's comfortable with, and the players are comfortable with it, it's fine. But if you check Alex Wobi, he was literally lost in that game because I didn't see... We, we, we didn't see his best. So that formation may not suit some of the players, but you can use the players that that formation suits to actually, you know, navigate through your wins. Because sometimes players need to adjust, but if they can adapt to the tactics you're not presenting because the ones you've been using, then you, you failed in that and you finally found one that can work with you without anybody walking down, running down a midfield like what happened in the first game. That actually worked for them. That worked for most of the players, but not for Alexi Wobi. Maybe if uh, Arthur and Yusuf, I don't know if he's going to be back in the game against Guinea. I don't, I, think, back, I, think, I don't think. I think. Uh, yeah. I don't think he's going to. I be think back. it's for two I, games, right? For, yeah. So, so maybe unless we will still have to come in there, but I hope by now he should get used to it. But we don't even know what he's going to play. You know, that's uh, Joseph Pesero. Yes, it was predictable before that four four two formation or four four one. I don't know. Sometimes he plays five four one. You'd be wondering what's he playing. But at the end of the day, if he's going to play five four one which is preferred, then it's fine. As long as you're getting the goals and your defense is actually, you know, solid. That's what we need. Do not concede. Consistently, I mean, this is the first time in like six games we didn't concede a goal. So, yeah. it, more than six, I, I've lost count. Because for every game we play, we concede. We concede. But if we were able to shut out the Avorians, since the Avorians doesn't even have a top striker, they didn't have, but I thought the coach didn't do a good job. Would have gone I, to the I just got them to do it, probably, you know, bringing a goalkeeper, probably maybe the, the players have more con confidence, confidence in, with, in, in, in yeah, him. Yeah, I, I think a lot. Because when Bali came in, we're like, why is he coming in now? We had that goalkeeper since, and we know that's where he plays. So why were we trying to, I mean, patch up uh, what's uh, Uzoho, you know, with all the mistakes that he made and everything, and still took him to the Nations Cup. I thought Wambli should have been with the squad before now, with all the cries and everything that we had. But now we have Wambli, and the players actually believe it. If you check, when he's actually at the goalpost, he, he's got this presence, this confidence. Yeah. I think that's what is actually pushing out to the players. And with True Stekong, who is actually, you know, fitting in the role of that captain on the field of play, everything is actually working well for the players. Everything is actually working well for the players. Okay, let's let's hear let's let's see if we can hear, let's hear from the players themselves. You know, uh, uh, CC says when we are saying here in Nigeria, I say look, well, let's do it again. Then the players go. So let's hear from them if they are ready to do it again. Let's hear from players.
We are one of the best three uh, Super Eagles team of all time. You cannot deny the quality we have in this team from the goalkeeper to the attackers. I think uh, we've really done so much and the, the, the quality in this team, we could win anyone. I think uh, for us, uh, we have made a statement win against the Ivorians. It shows a lot that when we are when we are really consistent and very ruthless, I think we can we can get the job done. We have a chance, just like every other team. We have a chance. I think we have got the qualities to to to, to win it. Uh, but of course, uh, two games down, five more to go. We are really ready, and I think uh, we will give our all to make sure we actualize this dream. Uh, I think everyone is right. I think we have the most exciting attack maybe in Africa. We've got the best player in Africa, who's our number nine. So. Um, I'm not surprised. I think I know uh, what the defenders can do as well. Um, I believe so much in this group. Um, I think it's great from the coach that he's set us up in two different uh, yeah, tactical formations. We practice on both, playing three at the back, five at the back, four at the back. So um, we have flexibility. Um, and I think that's a massive advantage for us. But I think, uh, yeah, if I look at the, the players that we've got now, I think it might be the best team that I've played in for Nigeria. Um, that's with all due respect to some of the legends that have uh, been there and I've been part of the team. So, but I think as a whole we have uh, so much here, um, and uh, yeah, I believe we can go very far. Um, of course, the host nation, the, the fans were basically behind them. But, um, when we got that goal, it really helped us a lot, and we had to defend. But we knew it was going to have to be a hard fighting battle from everyone. So to get the result against the host nation, we send a message out to the rest of the peoples. And, yeah, it was a great result for us. Yeah, I mean, we want to finish first in the group. We want to stay here. We don't want to have to travel anywhere. So we're kind of feeling like this is our home. So yeah, hopefully we can finish strong, end undefeated, and go to the next round feeling mentally strong. Okay. One of the best three teams Nigeria has had. <clears throat> I see <I> said so. <laughs> mm, it, to me, <laughs> to me, oh, apart from the winning teams, I understand. Um, the 80, because now when I look at the winning teams, well, not because, well, of course, once you achieve this victory, you are part of the top team. And no matter how good the team is, if you are not, if you didn't win anything, you just say you are a golden generation. Good generation has to show the good. If you don't get the good, there's nothing good about that particular generation. <laughs> so basically, uh, <laughs> we've seen certain, certain golden generations. So uh, uh, we have, we've had a 1973 golden generation that won the first ever uh, a trophy for Nigeria at the All Africa Games in 1973. Uh, you know, we had the 1980 golden generation that won our first Afghan right at home, led by Christian Chuku. Uh, we have the next golden generation that not just won the AFCON in 1994, but also qualified us for the uh, World Cup for the very first time. And then there is the third, the, the, the golden generation that went to South Africa against all odds, against all expectations, and then brought it back. So what about the, you know, four golden generations uh, so far? So if this one wants to add, then we can now know, after, when we now kind of, you know, agree the golden generation, you know, which I read the book, we now know where they fit in. I know my own. I won't say it. I mean, I know my own. Uh, uh, CC. <laughs> CC. I'm not going to say anything. CC, <laughs> see, they are not, this, one, this one is part of yes. the golden generation. Yeah, you, that, you know, that, you, that, you that, the, the word top golden. Three, in he the, said in top, the top three. three the top, yeah, yes. I mean, top three. You, yes. you, I, I, will, I will agree with him in a way. I mean, if we remove the first people that you talk about, <laughs> that was uh, Green Eagles. We are talking about Super Eagles. That's why he's saying it. He's not looking at Green Eagles. He's looking was, at that, was that what he said? Yes. He said Nigeria. Super Eagles. He said he's Nigeria. He's Super Eagles of Nigeria. <laughs> when they became Super Eagles of Nigeria. From that angle, yes, I will agree with him. Okay. Yes. Okay. So From that angle, okay. I agree with okay. him. If you but tried 1980 team. No, no, oh, come on. Those, this, of course, that's number one. Then followed by number two, of course, the... 94 team. Of course, the 94 team. Then the 2013 team. Then, of course, team. the Stephen Keshi led team. And then you can now come to them. So what I'm doing is to remove those big boys. You can't classify... I mean, how do you classify Christian Chiku? And you can't classify... <laughs> those guys are in a class of their own. I mean, because of what they did. So let's start from 1994. That's what we're trying to do. And that's what I believe Osimhen is trying to do here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, there, there are some of those teams that we see, you know, look, look, looking at it. That, you know, but let's see, we are playing. Like, we, we, tomorrow we go, tomorrow, I mean, the, the, the group games will finish the first round of the... Yeah. the, the, the will begin. We, we'll finish today, but tomorrow the last, the last rounds will begin. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's see, because I, I know we'll be playing... Um, by 6 p.m. tomorrow? Mm hmm we can, look at, we, we can look at the, 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 the fixtures. Yes, we can look at the fixtures. Uh, uh, let's see. And then ask you guys, 
you guys, this is where you need to be as so as so tired. You go nowhere <laughs> because this world, uh, we rather have a four points. Yeah. All, all things being equal, four points should all be able to see us through. Mm -hmm. But we don't just want to, you know, uh, to to you know to, to you know to, to go through. We want to see how you know we can really go through achieving something. So let's see if we can get if we can get those. Um, Results. We can get those, uh, uh, first of all, the uh, results and the fixtures. Um, while we are waiting to get that, uh, w which team has impressed you the most for now? Yeah, I, I think Senegal, you know, when, when Senegal and Cape Verde, you know, when, when, you, when you come into a tournament, you know you need mean business. Yeah. Yes, we, we know that, yes, the Cape Verdeans, mm -hmm. what they've done, I mean, your first game, it was against Ghana. Yeah. It was going to be a tough one for them. And okay. convincing them, 2-1, they won. And the second one, I mean, they went ahead, they won. So right under the round of 60. Senegal also. But before we continue with that, let's just look at the uh, result that you talked about. Yeah, Algeria. Algeria, Algeria, Burkina Faso. Yeah, Algeria, Burkina Faso. I mean, that game was an end-to-end -end game because it's a match and you look at it, you'll be wondering who was going to win at the end of the day. But I thought uh, the Algerians were lucky to get away to with get that. To... Yes, they had the possession and everything. But, but I think the finishing was suspect. Maybe the, the role that Riyad Mahrez played wasn't he, he didn't he didn't come to the party we, we, we know what Riyad Mahrez can is do is capable of yeah doing, of course yeah. we saw what he did in 2019 when they won the Nations Cup and of course he was instrumental one of the fulcrum when uh, Manchester City won the treble that they won before he went to Saudi Arabia but in the the, the, the Algerian game it, it was more like a passenger he, he didn't he didn't establish himself. Uh, luckily he for them, impose that, himself, imp imposed himself. The way, the way, yeah. the way he normally the way he does. Normally, the yeah. way he does. So that was lacking. And of course, that's why Baghdad Bonajad had to struggle before he was able to get the brazen goal. Yes, he had some missed chances, about two glaring chances that he could have converted. But he was at the right place at the right time for the two goals that he scored. He was able to rescue a draw for them. But Kina Faso, I think they should have done better. Maybe the coach lost the game for them because, I mean, you were 2 one up. You put out three players, brought in three defenders, and the two defenders he brought, I don't understand the business they had. I mean, they gave away a lot of free kicks, and it was one of the free kicks that led to uh, Abunaja, you know, getting two, that two, two dead, two dead, two, 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 two dead balls, dead balls, you know, that were converted into, yeah. go, into goals. goals. Mauritana, yeah. Mauritana and Gola, did you say, I mean, that, 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 that game was faced. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, yeah, I think when he's synonymous, if you're looking at another synonym for feisty, yes. I mean, it's, it's this game between Angola. You, 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 you wouldn't know who was going to win it until the final whistle. But I think the Angolans, that's another team that came into this tournament knowing what to do. Yeah. The first game against Algeria, they did everything possible to equalize and it was a draw. Yeah. So now they, they got that four points. Burkina Faso, same thing. So it's only Mauritania that happens to be the whipping boys. Algeria might just be in danger of not getting into the round of 16 for the second time running because the, when they won the Nations Cup in 2021 in Cameroon, they were out at the group stage and now they're in that danger. Two points from two games instead of possible six. I mean, when you look at a group like this, you could easily say, oh, Jera Burkina Faso are going to qualify. Exactly. But from all indication now, with that two points that they have, and Mauritania, from how they fought against the Angolans, I don't know what they're going to do to Algeria because we saw what they did against Burkina Faso. It, it, it took uh, Bencha Traore to come from the bench to score a late-minute penalty for them to beat Mauritania. Now against Algeria, so yes, they are wounded. Yes, they know they have to qualify. But if they... If they are not complacent, I mean, that, the, the game they played against uh, Angola, first half was okay, but second half they came as if maybe someone told them, you know what, well, relax, it's Angola you're playing. And they relaxed. And of course, Angola got back 68 minutes and they couldn't get back into the game. So if they are... If they're a serious side, <laughs> maybe they can <laughs> they'll be able to beat Mauritania. So you have fixtures for today to conclude the round, uh, second round of matches. Now maybe I did shock before. Tunisia. Yeah, that that's I'm, I'm still trying. I don't know what happened to Tunisians. I'm still thinking that maybe I don't know. This Africa Cup of Nations actually <laughs> like I, 20, yeah 2021 a lot of shocks come yeah. us and the likes. So they are not here now, but. I mean, Namibia, <laughs> now they're playing against South Africa. I don't even trust South Africa at this Nations Cup. So this is another game to look out for. You will start at 3 p.m. And then the other games of for today, Morocco, Diario, Morocco, Congo, Congo, Zambia and Tanzania. From what we saw what happened between Morocco and Tanzania, it took a, a, a red card for the Moroccans to be able to break you know, the, the, the defense line. I, I was with Waida Akoni when the game was going on. He talked about them setting up three blocks. <laughs> One, two, three. three. You have to break the first one, the second, and the third. Luckily, they have Hakim Ziyech who could, you know, give you that color of a free kick that can actually pass through any defense and then they'll be able to get goals. So that's going to be another. We're looking to the game. future now, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, which is the big game, of course. Equatorial game. Cote d'Ivoire. If 
quick quick try again beat them if you are um, <laughs> emilia nsue yes, yes. Emilia Nsue scored a hat-trick yeah. Yeah, against Guinea-Bissau. They won that game how many? 4-1. Yes. So now, it seems they can score goals. And that's what Cote d'Ivoire don't have. Like, they don't... I don't know why a coach comes... is coming into a tournament. You don't have, like, a known striker. Well, that, Probably, well, you know, the, 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 yeah, what's that, available is what he's using. Yeah, but you have a league. You uh, can get into your local league and get... Exactly. Because the same league is actually the very... The, the focus, same, the focus yeah, is outside. The foreign, yeah, that's the problem with most or of the foreign, foreign coaches that we have. Yeah. If you don't focus... Take a look at the Senegalese team. Why we we'll always talk about CC? Now, Generation Foot happens to be one of the best clubs in uh, Senegal right now. We talked about how they produce players over the years, likes of money and every Sadio money and all, all that. And now you you have a young star. Let me come around. There's some youngsters who came in from that same academy who have been able to blend into the national team. They played at their under 20. They played in Chan. They won the under 20. They won the Chan. Yeah. And then some of the players are here. So that's what a and coach would do. And they already have that winning mentality. That's it. So that's what a coach would do. So you can also look inward and see if you can bring in someone. They don't have that. And we know Equatorial Guinea can score goals now. We have someone who could score a hat ring in the game. So, uh, so what's going to happen? Are so they well, very much looking want, at the exit door? No, no, I actually want them to get into the semi-finals because I want people to be coming to the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The Kevadas have qualified. If you see, well, like you said, in, 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 if you look at the group yeah. and then you saw... Egypt, Ghana, in, initially. I mean, will you be saying that Ghana will have just one point for the first two matches? I mean, you know, and uh, and Kevado have qualified, you know, before 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 the last group. You games. know, what I'm not too surprised about the Ghanaians. I mean, when kudos, 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 yeah, kudos, kudos, kudos. Kudos, <laughs> to, kudos to kudos. <laughs> and it's called and it's called it's a great goal. Two goals, you know, they didn't play in their first game, but with yeah. kudos back and fit in the game, I think they they can you know think of qualifying, but one point. They need to win to maybe qualify as a, one of the best, uh, third best uh, losers. Uh, but for Egypt, I, I, there's no way. I, I can't say that, but Egypt is up against Cape Verde. But this, so right now, Egypt, Egypt and Mozambique. Ghana are struggling. Yeah, they struggled against Mozambique. You know, yeah. it ended in a draw two two against Ghana. Also, and two, that two two, two. They, they, were playing, they were playing two two draws, two two draws. Precisely, they can score goals, scoring four, conceding four. four they yeah. can also concede goals. So against Cape Verde, their defense is actually very tight. I don't know what they will be able to do. And Mo Salah is going to miss it two games, so Mo Salah will not be here. And if you check when Mo Salah was substituted in the game against Ghana, they played better. They played exactly. Apparently, they will play wanna, better. Yeah. When there yeah. is no superstar to get the balls to and expect him to do the it business, it happens in most maybe teams. They will because play the better. focus, well, if Mosala is there, let me say about 70% of the time, they want to yeah. send the balls to him because yeah. they believe he won. Mm -hmm. you know, but when it is not, you can see players who are better placed yeah. and then they, those who are marking. They, you, their focus will be okay. Stop Salah. If you stop Salah, you stop. You know, uh, yeah. uh, either the supply or whatever it yeah. is. Now they are playing uh, you know, a different. Uh, let's see. I think, like you said, uh, without Salah, probably we'll see, we'll see a better. Maybe we'll see uh, a better. Uh, the Senegal uh, you're talking about here. Yeah? I mean, Senegalese team. That, that's the perfect team I've seen. I mean, the transition player, apart from the Moroccan team, that'd be tight. Senegalese team is on that team that is very tight at the back. Okay. I mean, the transitional play, the way they play from the back, you know. In the, from, to the midfield, to the strikers, and even if man, I mean, Mane had to, he was the pen, you know, the last uh, kick of the game, the penalty, that's the first goal he has scored. But take a look at the players that are scoring. He doesn't have to do the business. So you have other players that can actually go ahead and score, and that's something that is working for Senegal. Mane is on the focal point. Everyone can actually score, everyone can play. So even if Mane is on the field of play, they can also go ahead. So Senegal already, of course, they're in the round of 16. So the one now, I mean, you can reiterate and say, they are not just one of the favorites. I think they are favorites for this. So followed that by that the Moroccan that, well, team. Because of the squad and the play we've seen so far. From 57 to date, yeah. only three teams have succeeded in defending. defending mm -hmm. Egypt did it twice, so they did mm -hmm. back to back and then mm -hmm. back to back to back. Yeah. And Ghana did are 63, 65. Yeah. And then ever since, you know, that yeah. Egypt did Cameroon, that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no. no, after yeah. you know, so it was Egypt that uh, did three three as in three, a row. Yeah. They after they did the first back yeah, to back. back. So Egypt have done it twice. Yeah. I mean, like, like we say, first of all they defended, and now yeah. they defended and defended. The, yeah. Now three, Ghana three. also did it. That is in sixty three and sixty five. Let's now, move. We are talking now, about recent. <laughs> do you, are you seeing the Senegalese team joining think, that yeah, elite, elite 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 yeah. club yeah, of teams that have defended the Afcon? It's possible because the, the kind of squad, as I mentioned earlier, I mean, someone was saying that uh, they will use a uh, second string to play their last game and I was saying what are the second string you're talking about? Now the player on the players on the field of play are as good as the ones on the bench. Yes. That's the thing about the Senegalese team. When they were playing against the Cameroonian, yes it was toe to toe, you know, until you know the the they took the chances they had. 
they took it. That's yeah. one thing about Senegalese team. But uh, the Cameroonians couldn't do that. And when you have Unana at the back, it doesn't actually inspire much confidence. No, but, 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 Sissi, Sissi, I, 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 let, let's be fair to Unana. The, 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 the three goals they considered <laughs> against Senegal. The third, the, the, okay. flex, the, the, first, the, I was, the, the deflection. Okay, one. You know, uh, the second. The second one, the, the second one, I mean, the post, the pass through and then the, there was nobody at the far end to block i mean just we have to, we have we have we have to senegalese there and the and the table was also a slight deflection I, I don't think those three goals those three goals that they scored but like you said when the keeper starts conceding goal whatever was well, as long as it concedes nobody going to ask how the goals Simple were conceded. Like that, because he collected two at old trafford before he came to cut the bar <laughs> so i mean you, you didn't eat me. so it's 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 i mean it's cut, synonymous cut, with cut, three cut, cut, cut I mean, some slack, an average see, of three goals that's what he conceded in a month i mean that's that i mean that's the stat it's not I'm, I'm not the one saying it if you look at his stats i mean he knows how to concede so, and goals. in january has considered five or six how many <laughs> so it's i mean that's the thing so when you have i mean i don't know why the, if I were a coach, I'm not sure I'm going to... Onana will not be at the one. post. Onana won't be at the post because you can't tell me you want to play in your club until the... I mean, Nations Cup has already started. You're missing the first game. You're thinking you just running the team. You don't enter the team. You sit on the bench. Okay, let's take a look at this. Uh, the standings of Group D. Yes. Angola. Yes, this is the group you look at. That Angola, saying, Burkina Faso. How do you have Angola, you know, leading? Algeria. But the good thing about this group is Mauritania, yes, they are out. No matter what's going to happen in the last game. But Angola... And Burkina Faso, Algeria. This is a very open group. So Mauritania can against, win and get three points and be among the best among the the, uh, the best the best losers. Okay, and they then can still that's win. If, that's yes. if Algeria yes loses. That's yes, person. yeah. Uh -huh. They can still if, if they go if they uh, uh, if, if, okay. if they go three points <laughs> and then uh, but they, uh, need the fourth, Al they yes. need Al because they need to beat Algeria. That's the last game they're playing. Algeria, they are meeting each other. Yes. So now I, I don't think Algerian team. <laughs> Nobody's allowing anybody this is. See, they don't say you think you're going to allow them to beat them. Anybody. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. right. But if you look at the Algeria team, yes. I mean, yes, they, they on paper, perfect squad. They have the, one of the best coaches. He, of course, he knows how to win titles. And then you're looking at Mauritania, who, where are they coming from? Yes, I understand what they did, you know, to Angola, you know, when they played. The, but if, I, I think... Like, uh, to work in a fast and everything, but I think uh, I don't. I don't see. You don't see that. Don't okay, see okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> right. I think Mauritania are out. Well, really. well, Except well, I want to if see. It, if it happens, you will be one of. Uh, yes, we know Comoros. That is what I want to see. That is what I want to see. I don't want to see that. I want to be admired to remain in the tournament. Mali, now, Mali, they've been, Mali has been one of the uh, most consistent teams yeah. in Africa, but they are yet to win this. Yeah. What is well? Is this their year? I mean, uh, we, 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 it, 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 it can't be their we year. We saw their, they, yeah. they, okay, it can't be their year. It won't be their year because we've had, we've had, we've had. Or Senegalese, first of all, Senegalese we year. We have to bring in Senegal. Yeah. We bring in Morocco. We bring in the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Then maybe we will push in. If we the way the Cape Verde has started, we can push them in a little bit. Okay. So I mean, Mali should be maybe tenth in that in that order. Wait until wait until the knockout stage starts. Well, you now see, you now see where so South it Africa with no yeah. points. So that's how I can't understand what they need to do today. Yeah. The team they are facing, Namibia already got the three points. So all they need to do is beat Namibia, and then and they, they, you know they are they, 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 they are, have they are the Kosafa, the Kosafa people, yeah. they, are, they, are, they are neighbors. I mean, they, they understand, they understand themselves. Each other. So it might be a very difficult match for yeah. South Africa it, because it, it, they it played Namibia over and over and over again. It, it, it would be, I think it, okay. it would be. And then the Tunisians, I mean, they are they, 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 they have not come to this party. They have not come to the party at all. I think there, there's some team. I think there's some tournament that are not just for you. But I wouldn't say they've not come to the party. Sometimes, you know, we, we've seen how teams start tournament and yeah. they go ahead to win. The World Cup, of course, that's the freshest, the easiest. I mean, the last World Cup 2022. We saw everyone saw what happened to Argentina. I mean, you start the tournament and you lose to Saudi Arabia. You lose it to Saudi Arabia. I'm like Saudi Arabia. How? And then, and then have a, became. You know. Then you have the best player in the world, not arguably. The greatest of all time yes. in football. I mean, you have him right there with you. You have some of the young stars. I mean, we saw what the younger players, when they came into the party, what they all did. You have that crop of players and they are losing to a Saudi Arabia team. <laughs> and we felt, oh, that's the end for Messi. But somehow, when you have a Messi in your team, anything can happen because you already have a magic shine right there with you. Yeah, so you have an the magic. extraterrestrial. That's the thing. <laughs> you have your, the, your, your, your Morocco. Mor Mor I mean, this is the team to really look out for because... What they did at the World Cup, that's what they're doing. They yeah. just continue the process. They're not changing much. 
the players haven't yeah, the players i mean you didn't see the coach trying to deviate from what the success they've achieved so they're building on that and that's why i feel morocco this tournament is for Mor them morocco morocco uh, yeah. because at least I, uh, now that we haven't looked about it talking about yeah. also what they achieved at the world cup yeah. you know uh like Grego coming in you know uh with just a few months to the world cup you understand uh, and then in bringing everybody together, harmonizing people that yeah. have been alienated, people that have been sent out of the team, he brought them yeah. back. Uh, is it that, that that harmony that is working for the team? Uh, we, we know that I mean the government of Morocco they spare they spare nothing yeah. when they when they want when, what, what they put in there in terms of facilities, facilities mm -hmm. and every other thing. I mean, are we seeing a world power yes, emerging? I've already African been at, at the World Cup, at the semi-final, the first African team. How many teams are even qualified for the semi-final of the World Cup? You can count them. But now ranking among the, 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 the powers. What is really happening to, uh, what is Senegal and Morocco doing that Nigeria, Ghana and Cameroon are not doing? Okay, well, let, let, okay let's start from the grassroots, for instance. Yes. Now, these, these, these countries you just mentioned, they took time to build. And that's what you need to do. I mean, the last time Morocco won the Nations Cup was 1976, yeah. 48 years ago. Yeah. And their coach was, was, I think it was six months and 20 days. Old. I, no, I think it was five, five months and 20, 20 days, days old. Okay. You know, last time when they won it. So it, it tells you that they understand what this means. That I mean, he, he, The coach, has, uh, Walid has talked about the curse of the continent that's African football find they establish successes outside at the World Cup and everything but they've not been able to win the Nations Cup now they took time to build their team they now have like a standard they, Morocco don't even need to go anywhere and camp yeah. I mean they know where they want to come players come in willing I mean those who had played <laughs> At French level, at all levels, from the under 17, under 20, on the, on, um, on the 19, at, because they know their Moroccans want to play for the country, yes. the best, not just like uh, the ones that you know, the countries abandoned. I mean, they, they, they were not called up. They've been able to attract players into the squad and take a look at their league. They, they actually, I mean, one of the best leagues in Africa. They've been able to, we talked about how they won Chan 2018, and then they won it, I think, 20. 2020, they want yeah. back to back like that. They've been able to do that. So this is the time now for them to win the Nations so Cup. So they have a pool have of a players pool that, you know, that's okay, fine. Yes. This was approved themselves for the country. Yeah, we can, we can. retires today now. Yeah. I mean, they're not going to look for any other person because they know there's a replacement already coming. You've seen the young stars coming in. You see the the, old, the players will even say they're older. They like likes of a Hakimi. I mean, how old is he? 24. So how old is it yet? Like 28. So you have... The, we have pool so this of crop players of players can even still go on for another three, four years. That's it. And then you still have the other we one that's coming in. the players are also coming. They've been able to build. They've been able to establish what do we want. We need to invest in infrastructure. And that's what they've done. Same thing with Senegal. I mentioned Generation Food, right? That's one of the best clubs. That, they, that club has been producing stars over the years. Last year, we talked extensively about Senegal because of what they achieved. On the 17th, winning everything. On the 20, I, even Chan. They won the Nations <laughs> Cup. Yep, they won I won the one of the yes. I won the one players based at, at home. At, yeah, so the African, African based, yeah. Afri players are based in, in Africa. Africa. That's yeah. how big they are. Now, you can actually use those players based in Africa. We've as seen, a springboard. As a springboard. You can, if, if Mane says it's not coming, you can just pick those players and they go for this Nations Cup and they will excel. So they've been able to build, they've been able to invest in infrastructure, invest in the league. That will work for you, the bedrock of any country. Now, Ghana, Nigeria, Cote d'Ivoire, Cameroon. Before now, how many foreigners do you see playing in the Nigerian national team? When we won in the 20, 2013, how many foreigners do we have? Foreigners? Of, yeah. of foreign, foreign, born foreign, foreign born players. Born. Yeah, foreign born players. How many <laughs> I was do we afraid. Have? <laughs> how, many, how many do we have? Take a look. Before when you look at the Cameroonian national team, we used to say that uh, they, it's like they, 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 you must have biceps and everything to play and all that. Yes. And then they have the homegrown. But how many homegrown do you have in the Cameroonian national team? In Ghana, how many homegrown do you have? We're not looking outside the shores of your country. Look for players that are born outside to come and play for you. Because you're not growing what's at home. Imagine you, you, you have homegrown talent. Yes, the Senegalese have you know, foreign born from France that have joined the team. But you also have a blend of the one at home. That's a blend. Using That's their, local, using their local coaches. coaches. Does it, is, it, is, it, is it helping in that, any way? I was also going to come there because yes. the coaches understand the system. That is also helping them. They know that if I can't find a, a winger you know, in Europe, of course I can look at the league. Because why they understand they the system. League. They have a thriving league. Cut the work couldn't do that because ah, you know what I mean. 
how many times does it stay in Cote d'Ivoire? So we, we've been able to see that countries that have been able to blend, you know, those at home from the league and also those abroad have been able, have been successful. But Ghana haven't been able to do that. How is the Ghanaian league presently? How is the, how is the Cameroonian league presently? These are the questions you ask. How is the Nigerian league presently? How many players from Nigeria, Nigerian league do we have? You don't, you don't have that dark horse. Uh, Sonomba was our dark horse. He, Sonomba didn't start most of the games we were playing in 2013. But he was the guy who scored the winning goal for Nigeria. Yeah, we yeah. don't have that. Kevin Sami final did the magic and came in the final to final score. To yeah. score. No, we don't have that dark horse in Nigeria. But some countries got that dark horse. They have players that can pick from the league. Cameroon have one. In fact, Amunike, Amunike did not even play at all until the final, final. In, 19, in 1994. So that's, you would have one player who is a dark horse you may have picked from the league that people don't really understand. You throw that player in and then he can just give you something to cheer about. So if we have maybe, I don't know, if we have, we believe in our local coaches, give them time, invest in football. When we talk about investment, we're not talking about players welfare i mean my promise to twenty thousand dollars the, the president, had, the president has not, at least 12 billion that's that's not that's the 12 billion is for who it's to pay outstanding salaries i mean do you know how yeah, much they're coaching the players clear, when they clear yeah, all that they have that's this not they have, we, uh, that's so, not what we're saying we're yeah. talking about the real investment infrastructure how many stadium do you have do you have a home for your national teams we don't have Oh, now we're saying just make Uyo since it's one of the best stadiums we have in Nigeria. Make Uyo Uyo the home ground for the Super. We don't have. We could play in Uyo today. Next time you go to Benin and next time one governor wants to host you in Kaduna, you move it to Kaduna. That's what we've been doing. So at the end of the day, if you don't have a home where you can call, this is the home of the national team, and you don't have infrastructure, you move from one hotel to another. These are some of the issues you look at. So why not just build the infrastructure, invest in your league, and invest in the players. Trust your national. Your, your, your local coach, yeah. and then maybe and give them time. Maybe okay. we'll just be where Morocco and Senegal. Ah, oh. well, ah, oh. I can't, I can't, I can't think of it that we are looking up to Morocco and Senegal. Yeah, but yeah. But, but we are, we are, we are going a very short break. <laughs> when we we'll come back, Channel Sport on Sunday continues. We we'll go to, we we'll go right there to Australia and see what is happening. Stay with us. Lovely cross there. We we'll connect with that one. Allowing Chinedu to head away. And here comes Lubis Downs now coming forward. Down the left. Just to dribble in. The shot is from distance. And it's in. And it's almost so into the net there. Now that. And we. Haruna. Haruna standing over this. The ball comes in. Looks like a good delivery. Goalkeeper is off his line. Can anyone get on this? Goalkeeper is still down. Another cross back into the centre. Benjamin heads it. The cross. Um, but Globy Stars escape. What well, was a very narrow one there as the defenders all stood across the line and stops the ball from getting in from Benjamin. The ball goes off Akili. The throw in. Polobata throws the ball to Ebuka. The cross is in, but doesn't connect any Benden insurance player. The danger is not over. Julius Emiloju. Plays it back in. Chukidi tries to connect with it. He can fall for Saki. He does get it, Tamara. Tamara's shot wasn't the best option. He tried to be acrobatic with the finish. And yes, we we'll see that change we made now. Evan Sobunda makes way for Junior Osagai. Hello, you welcome back. It is the channel spot on Sunday. Uh, okay, I don't go, I don't know. Call it okay, me. I don't come up. Okay, is in the house. Okay, how are you? It's nice, uh, it's nice having uh, been on the show, Ken. And uh, but one thing I just want to uh, state out there is uh, in victory humility in defeat gallantry. I learned that from the past president, Poyamba Bangida, when he used to send his message to the super uh, flying Negroes back then in the 80s so um and we should also be mindful something happened in 1992 
after uh, Cote d'Ivoire defeated Ghana in the finals, and uh, the Ghanaians could not take the defeat in good faith, and they started uh, beating up Ivorians in Ghana. But the Ivorians, they had to retaliate and ensure all the hotels you have the Ghanaian sex work, commercial sex work, were actually burned down. So it's not that the Ivorians cannot fight back. Our people there should just be graceful in, uh, in victory. We should not rub it. We should not rub it in. <laughs> Respect your host. Anyway, uh, um, let's go. So we're keeping him waiting. Uh, a class of ninety-four. Our teammate was talking about, you know, the third. You know, this team is about the third best team. Okay, let's see what is going to happen. But then let's go straight. Uh, to, he's supposed to be in the bad, but right now I think he's uh, transferred to Jebode. He wants to go and watch. Uh, and, you know, he's following the league. That is what we talk about today. Uh, uh, they call him the headmaster. My head is bigger than his own. And then, <laughs> but he won the half call in 1994. Uh, you know, Castillo, I don't remember the Madrid star. I would, I would, I'm, going to, I'm going to put him against another Barcelona star. I will see what is going to happen. You guys know how, how I do it. We won the one and only, Muti, I think what you. They are Muti, how are you? It's Chief, Chief. I must add that Chief, not this one. The only the shy Chief, not just the Budakeke. But he's the Amuludu. You understand? Yes, it's the Amuludu. <laughs> Muti, how are you? <laughs> Thank you, thank you again. Uh, everyone. Um, it's my, my pleasure to be with you this afternoon. All right, apologies, so I've kept you waiting for so long. Uh, I know I, I mean, you, are, you are a perfect gentleman. Uh, let's go straight. You, you've been following, you've been following uh, what is happening right there in Cote d'Ivoire. Are uh, we seeing a route, a route just like what you guys did in '94? Will it, are, we, will, are we able to? Re, do you think we can repeat '94? Uh, yes, I mean, it's possible. It's possible. And uh, I think, I mean, uh, the Super Eagles, I mean, started I mean, very slow. But, I mean, the last game, uh, talking about the first game, it wasn't as I mean, good as I mean, the last game. And, I mean, they improved I mean, uh, drastically in, in, in the second uh, game, in which I believe, I mean, they, they, they have to continue with that I mean, uh, form, with that trend. And uh, let's see how it goes. It's going to be very, very important, I mean, for... I mean, the Super Eagles to know that, I mean, everyone is I mean, behind them, all Nigerians, and I mean, they would have seen it after the victory, how everybody was I mean, happy and all that. And uh, that's, I mean, the way it should be. And I mean, they should keep I mean, the Nigerians, I mean, happy always. Uh, uh, you look, let's, let's look at it this way. Um, what do you think was the difference between uh, uh, the, uh, 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 the, the way we played in the first match and then also the second one. What do you think? What, what, what do you think was the difference in, in this enhanced performance that you saw? Is it, is, it, is it the team formation or is it just the belief or whatever? Uh, I think I mean the change of formation. I mean uh, played them I mean, uh, an important role. Uh, in the first game, I mean I think we played them I mean, four three three, in which I mean we saw uh, a lot of I mean lapses in the midfield, and I mean they get into our attack I mean very easily. But I mean this time around with I mean five uh, defenders, I mean uh, three central defenders and uh, full backs that goes to the front and all that. I mean it made it a, a little bit I mean, I mean well not a little bit very solid in which, I mean, uh, we had I mean, a very solid defence and uh, the midfield was, I mean, compact and uh, we moved to the attack, I mean, with ease. So I think, I mean, that was, I mean, the difference uh, uh, between the first game and uh, the, the, the second game. And the second game. 3-5, uh, three, 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 it doesn't used to be popular in Nigeria. I remember when, I think it was Truche that started, that first introduced that thing and Nigerians were saying, it is not that we want to play wings. Does it really matter what formation you play or the result that you get in the game? I think, I mean, the, the, the formation is not important. I mean, it depends on the, I mean, the kind of players that, I mean, you have. Yes, we're not, exactly. we're not used, I mean, to this kind of... Uh, uh, we can call it, I mean, 3-5-2. We can call it 5-3-2. Uh, it's uh, depending on, I mean, uh, the, the wings, I mean, uh, the wingers and, I mean, how they, are, they go to the forward, I mean, forward and how they support in the midfield and all that. That's, uh, the, the, I mean, it depends on, on all that. But nevertheless, I think, I mean, the, 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 the performance, I mean, of I mean, the players, I mean, very, very important. I mean, the, 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 the way they build up, the way they defend and the way they go to into the attack is, is very, very important. I, uh, and uh, their uh, uh, zeal to, to play and I mean, to move forward and I mean, to, to win is I mean, very, very important. I, I think I mean, that was what in the, in the uh, last game, the second game they played. 
uh, okay. Um, let me, let me, let me, let me ask. I want, I want to ask you. They want to ask you a question, but I, you see, when I do, we do a different. Okay, ask him the question. No, uh, you you <laughs> took us back to Chose. Uh He was part of that team in '98 when it was uh, much alien to all the three five two. But uh, I still look at it coming against a team not under pressure. Do you think uh, that is the headmaster? This three five two work against like the Senegalese team? Did it? Did you hear that? Motu? Uh, no, I mean, come again, please. He, he said, do you think if we are playing against the Senegalese team, can, did you believe that 352 can work? And then, you know, uh, when, when Trouché introduced it for you guys in 1998, I mean, why didn't, why, why did, is, was it the players that were not ready to play it or it was just, uh, uh, the, the journalists that were just screaming, don't play this, in, uh, don't play 352? Well, I think I mean there are some players. I mean, that are not used to that. I mean, kind of I mean, game, and I mean some uh, part of uh, I don't know whether I would say uh, officials and all that. But I mean, definitely a coach has his own pattern. And although uh, the country, for example, like Nigeria, we are not four four two, and I mean recently four three three, and all that, we are not used to until when Trizé came, and it worked. But some probably due to not used to that I mean, uh, kind of I mean, uh, situation and all that. I mean, they, 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 they didn't get uh, adapted to it. Well, I naturally, I was part of I mean, the team and I, mean, I tried to, to, to do my, my best then. But what I think is that, I mean, it depends on the players. I mean, the performance of the players, like I said earlier on, and uh, whether against uh, Senegal or against any, any other team, uh, a, a coach will look at, I mean, the team that he's playing too, and I mean, try and form his, I mean, uh, make his plan and formation according to the players, the kind of players that, I mean, he has. So I think... Uh, it could work. I mean, with any with any team, depending on I mean uh, uh, the, the kind of team that we are going to play against. Okay. Uh, be before Cecilia asks you uh, the next question, uh, what 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 have you seen is the strength or the and the weakness that we have in this team so far? And that we of course we don't play just two matches. But what are what what are the areas that look we need to improve on this side? And this area we need to straighten that. You know, we we'll do what we are doing. <laughs> Um, I think, I mean, uh, our witness, I mean, uh, from what I saw in the first game and all that, the build up from the defense, I mean, into the attack. I mean, we have, I mean, very solid, I mean, defense, and we have, I mean, wingers, I mean, that, that's, I mean, uh, uh, wing backs that, that are very attack yeah. conscious, in which, I mean, we can make use of, I mean, uh, of them and all that. So I think our witness, I mean, comes, I mean, uh, from the midfield, we have to have I mean, players that are going to take the ball, build up, and then we get the ball into the attacks. I mean, very quickly and all that. I think I mean we're, we're, we have not been doing that. I mean, with, uh, with I mean uh, with quick uh, uh, build up to get into the into the attack. So I think I mean we have I mean solid uh, defense, but we have to. Concentrate on the build up and then we try and then we build up very quickly to get them into the attack. We have I a mean, uh, strong attack uh, like in, in Osime and I mean, uh, other players that are in the attack. And I mean, we have to use them I in mean, wings I and mean, sometimes because Osime is I mean, very good in the air. Uh, he is tall and I mean, he's very fast and all that. I mean, our first goal in the first game was I mean, came through headed. So we have to go, I mean, uh, come through the wings and I mean, uh, have I mean, more pull-outs, I mean, uh, as I mean, we used to do in the back then. Okay, uh, uh, Sissy, uh, your, your question. Okay, I was going to ask, do you I mean, we, we've talked about the Super Eagles, the way they played in the first game, then the second game, there was a little bit of an improvement. From what you've seen with that improvement, do you think now you're confident that they can actually uh, win the Nations Cup? Well, um, only if we continue improving on what we have, we cannot just sit down because I mean, not two games. I mean, uh, two games are not this. And uh, what you find in a game might be different in in, in, in the next uh, game. So you have to continue improving. But what I will just I mean uh, try and I mean, <laughs> advise. I mean. 
wish to fight for all boss and the players and the should not I mean, uh, uh, they, they should be concerned on because uh, that but we have uh, as, I, as I mean the, the uh, competition is going we're going to have I mean, more difficult I mean, all, uh, oppositions and all that so we just have to keep on I mean uh, working very hard I mean the, the and they may continue I mean, uh, playing very well and they, they build up the counter-attack and all those things I mean, they, they should make I mean, use of it. Okay, uh, uh, Mutu, let, let me ask you this. Uh, we've seen a change uh, in, the, in the goalkeeping position. We have a new goalkeeper, a new number one for now, who has kept in the first two games. Uh, you, you know, a, a few months back, this goalkeeper was still playing in the local league. And then he went to South Africa... And right now, you know, he's been called into the team. I'm not just called into the team, but given a responsibility, you know, uh, to be there. Um, I ask you this because I've, in the past 48 hours, I've, I have followed a few of the teams that have been moving from the south to the north and from the north to the south part of the country in playing the MPFL. And I'm seeing you know, where players are spending over 36 to 48 hours on the road while going alone. On going alone, you spend, you know, uh, over 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 30 something hours on the road. Uh, do, do you think that Nigeria, as it is, that the MPFL format of 20 teams is what is right for this country? Can that has that been able to bring out the best in the players, or do you think? Traveling and other logistics are taking too much out of them. I will not get in the best out of the players that we have in the league currently. Well, uh, it's very, very, very sad I mean, to, <laughs> to see this I and mean, everything that I mean, you have just said. It has been, I mean, what uh, has been happening I mean, in the league and all that. And uh, I think, I mean, the moment where we find a solution to it, the better for everybody. Um, going for a league match. And spending four days on the road in a week you have seven days you already spent four days on the road coming back recovery for the players for everybody then preparation for the next game and all that all these things I mean I think I mean it's taking a, a lot from I mean, from the players where there is, there is I mean if there is a solution we I mean a situation in which the players can get to the venue the same day or a day after and uh, without any stress of I mean, the road, spending uh, uh, 24 hours on the road and all that. I think I mean, it, 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 will, it will be better and I mean, the players will be more relaxed and, I mean, they, and all that. So I think I mean, something just I mean, has to be done. So that I mean, we can have I mean uh, our players at the best uh, uh, optimum uh, uh, form because the way it is now, I think I mean it is very, very, very uh, killing. I mean, let me just let me say it that that way for a player to go two days on the road and get to the uh, venue of the game yeah. tired and sometimes there are injuries and all that. So. And I mean, also the roads that are not good and uh, vehicles, I mean, <laughs> spoiling on, uh, on the road, breakdown of vehicles and all those things. I mean, they, 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 they are too uh, many things, I mean, uh, at the time that I mean, it's uh, affecting, I think, I mean, the optimum performance of I mean, the players. Okay, finally, uh, uh, back to the Afghan. Um... Is Osime, you know, uh, is 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 there any pressure? Do you see any pressure in him, you know, to you know to perform be the African Footballer of the Year? And then, um, do you maybe, of course, we're talking about four three three, you know, four four two, and other things. Do you think probably he need a, a support striker playing behind, apart from the ball coming from the wings for him to deliver? Of course, you sure you said it that that you know giving the ball in the air because of his height, he he utilizes them. But then, um, how do you think Nigeria can best use Osime if we want to win the Afcon in 2024? Well, uh, like I said earlier, it depends on I mean, the situation of I mean, the opposing team and I mean, what uh, you have. 
in the opposition opposition in the exactly. first game. Uh, Sorry, yeah. Sorry. He, he, he scored a goal and all that. In the second game, he was one that uh, I mean, cost I me mean, the, the, the penalty that we had and all that. So, I think uh, 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 probably the way uh, they played the second game and I mean maybe later I mean after bringing in uh, a support striker or a support midfield player that I mean is I mean, more uh, into the attack to support him so that I mean he will get somebody that that is going to be near him and I mean uh, supplying him I mean with the, with the balls then I mean playing from the wings I think I mean with I mean this uh, tactics will be able to to, to, to have a uh, I mean, optimum performance. Yeah, he might be under pressure because, I mean, he will want to live up to the uh, best uh, African player of, of the year that he is. And, I mean, uh, I think, I mean, he should just I mean, try to manage I mean, the situation and not be uh, being his and try as much as possible to manage I mean, uh, the, the, the situation. All right, thank you so much. AFCOM 1994 winner, as we want to do it again. We have to go to the man who has done before. Thank you so much, Muti. We'll call you back again and again and again. And then when we get to the finals, just be sure that we will we'll, we'll come to you. Thank you so much, Muti, for being part of the show. Thank you. All right, gentlemen. We're yeah. going. After, gentleman and lady. <laughs> after 94 was, there was a 2013. So Amadou will tell you the... Other they come, the easier they fall. Yeah. Guinea Bissau should fall. Okay. They will fall on Monday evening. Okay. When they fall, we rise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm China Chenaga. God bless Nigeria.